Right, so you're doing this. So my name is Tom Curry, and I'm the head of school at Bishop Ireton High School in Alexandria, Virginia. And this is my second year at Bishop Ireton. Um, I knew that the school had opened in 1964 and that we had a 50th anniversary coming up in 1415. And so I worked with our director of advancement and decided that we needed to do something pretty big for this historic occasion. We got a committee together to think about some ideas and we came up with having a gala where maybe we could get 400 people to come and uh, celebrate our uh, semi-centenary, but we had more than 750 people at the gala, including Bishop Laverty and Sister Bernadette McManigal, hundreds of alumni, many uh, current parents and past parents, and really most importantly for a lot of us was the past leadership of the school. We've had nine principals, eight oblates of St. Francis de Sales, and one lay principal. All the living principals were able to come to the gala, and I got to meet a couple of them for the first time myself. And it gave us an opportunity to thank them and, and show our appreciation and gratitude for their leadership over the first 50 years of the school's history. And it was um, an idea I had to give them a medallion with their names inscribed on one side and their dates of service, and then on the other to have the seal of the school, and to hand that to them personally and, and look them in the eye and say thank you. In addition to the past leadership, we had dozens of alumni come to meet the oblates themselves, who were their teachers. How rare is that, an opportunity to go back and you're in your youth and you don't realize how important your high school teachers are. And now, that many years later, you see them in the flesh and you're able to say thank you for changing my life. And many of the alums that I talked to then and since that night have shared with myself and others around exactly that dynamic. So we're very proud of that. We have a wonderful physical plant here at Bishop Ireton, but some of our buildings are showing signs of deterioration. We also would like to expand some of the uh, facilities so that we have a greater capacity for our students. Tom Danner, her class of 77, was able to give us a kind of perspective on things to come, and we showed everybody a video of what the building could look like in the near future, and people were very excited. And we've come up with an idea maybe to build a multi-deck parking garage, and on top of that to have a turfed field. So this would build a field space, but also some green space for us around the campus. So really to beautify that area of the lower lot is one of the things that we're looking at as a priority. And one of the priorities I found, uh, we're sitting in the St. Francis de Sales Chapel right now. It's a beautiful chapel. It was built for the Oblates when they were here. There were, I think, at maximum about 26, 28 Oblates. And so it, it seats that comfortably. If we want to have a space for, say, a class of uh, sophomores or juniors to worship, we would really need to build a new chapel. And I thought that would be um, just a wonderful thing if we can make, make a, a beautiful space to worship our Lord and, uh, and incorporate some of what you see already in this space here, which would be our Salesian iconography, just the style and aesthetic that we're used to here, but just in a more expansive way. And one of the things I wanted to do with the chapel is make sure that, you know, and make the Eucharist the center of our school. And so we want to make sure that happens even if we build a new chapel.